Here's a simple mindset shift to help you increase your deal velocity. Stop looking at your deal cycle as a period of time and start looking at it as a sequence of decisions. In other words, uh, don't think about your average deal cycle as being three to five months. Think about it as, hey, for somebody to make a purchase, they usually make five to seven decisions. Uh, some of the decisions a buyer makes in your deal cycle, it starts as early as your cold call. Is your initial value proposition interesting enough to take a discovery call? At the end of the discovery call, is your value hypothesis relevant enough to go see a demo? These decisions continue throughout the deal cycle, and while some become fairly complex, like is the value of the solution worth more than the cost shown on the proposal, many of the decisions made are really simple and should be moved on quickly. And so the really easy shift to make to increase your deal cycle is stop asking, hey, after a call, can we meet again next week? Start asking, what's your calendar like tomorrow? Or at worst, the next day? Because most likely, the decision that your buyer has to make in that moment to continue the conversation isn't going to take days or weeks. Towards the end of the deal cycle, the timeline might lapse a little bit more. Uh, if they have to go talk to internal reviewers with the proposal, build out ROI models, it might not always make sense to meet the very next day. But throughout the majority of the sales cycle, you could and should be meeting much more frequently. And as you do that, uh, your deal cycles will shorten and you'll find yourself winning even more deals because as many people in sales know, time kills deals. So the sooner you win, the more you win. Uh, I hope this is helpful. Uh, if you like videos like this, please subscribe to my YouTube channel and you can also find my best frameworks at salesintroverts.com.